Hello, this is a Locked On Plays, and I thought I would make a quick video on how to get the Troll Scamp achievement for White Strakes Mayhem when you're an Aldemir Dominion character. I am obviously in the Imperial sewers, and I'm sorry I'm circling so much, uh, making you dizzy. Uh, I'm just watching out for bad guys. Um, I am in the Imperial City, uh, zoom out, there's Molog Ball, I'm over here by Emperor Zygote, yes, I know that's not his real name, but whatever, Emperor Leovic is there. Um, the Trove scamp comes out of this sewer grate right here, and then runs over to this ball of gunk, and then over to there. Um, and in order to kill them when they're still there, when they're still alive, before they despawn, you have to bash them or otherwise interrupt them. Crushing shock works most of the time, but not always. Um, I like to do it in this particular spot because only two or three bad guys spawn here. Um, two of the spider daedra. One spawns here, one spawns over here, and maybe one spawns here. Oop, that uh, boss is up again, but I just got him. Um, and then they spawn little spiderlings as well. But they don't spawn very often, and as far as I can tell, in the areas in AD where the Trove Scamp spawns, this is the slowest respawn rate on the random ads that, um, that come out. You saw me h hiding in this, uh, uh, web. I just do that to make it a little bit, uh, harder for things to see me, for reds or blues to see me as they're running through. It's probably ineffective, but hey, why not? So this is one of the spider daedra I mentioned spawned. I'm showing this not because I'm a good player, I'm showing this because I'm not a good player. And um, this tune that I'm on, this warden, I play it okay, it's not great, it's actually mostly a healer and this is uh, a, a, PV play, a PvP build I just kind of threw together based on a Deltia build. Um, and because I'm concentrating on talking with you, I'm taking forever to kill it. There's, and then there's one of the little hatchlings. And then in a second, another one will spawn over there. There is a wandering world boss, or one of the flag bosses that comes here. He comes from that way, from south, from d down here, and circles around this area here. I will show that on the map in a bit. But when he comes... But when he comes, if you hide over on this side, like in this corner, you will be out of the range just a little bit. The edge of his spot, his uh, visibility ring is right about there where my reticule is, where it says hidden. So you have a couple of feet. Um, he, he, he comes out and then he turns this way. So hiding along the eastern wall isn't great. So hiding over here is probably okay, okay. But I always hide in that corner there, mostly because the scamp comes out there, and I won't miss it. Ah, shit, and the troll scamps came right when the boss did. This is gonna be bad. Yep, and I got him, scamp of mayhem, and I got him without dying to the boss. Although I don't think anyone will actually be interested, I wanted to give my build, uh, you know, just in case. Um, this is based on a Deltia build for beginner PvP stuff. I will put the link in the uh, description. On the skills, on the front bar, I'm using Crushing Shock instead of the morph that Deltia recommends because I like having the interrupt. Um, that's a, per a personal choice. Uh, Elemental Drain, just cause. Uh, Arctic Blast is a nice heal, as well as a bit of an AoE. Birds of Prey for the Major Expedition and Minor Berserk. Entropy, because everyone uses en Entropy or Degeneration. You know, I don't know why I have Degeneration, why I have Entropy instead of Degeneration. It might be because I happen to have that on this as a healer. Um, and then the Destro Staff uh, Ultimate, because I needed an Ultimate. Northern Storm, uh, AoE, and uh, slowing your enemies, and Major Protection. 
cow chops, obviously not leveled. Uh, ice, ice fortress for the major resolve, the minor protection, and stuff. Living trellis as a heal. Um, mostly it's a self heal. It occasionally uh, procs on other people, but not very often. Uh, budding seeds I chose because of the harvest uh, synergy in case anyone else in case I'm running with anyone else if I knew I was going to be running alone I would put the um, the other uh, the fungus one on because it also restores magicka and stamina uh, Deltio recommends also a destro staff I'm sorry a resto staff on the back bar but wardens have such good heals that I decided to get a little extra damage with uh, a destro on the back bar and then um, deep fissure for the major breach. And then I am wearing um, uh, engine guardian uh, head and shoulders, um, heavy and medium. My head is divine just because I happen to have that. Uh, I would put uh, in pen probably maybe well fitted or reinforced dip depending upon what you like. Uh, on the body I'm wearing pariah mostly in pen but as you see the chest is reinforced um, this is a mix of max health and max magicka uh, I just noticed that some of this is ancient dragon guard so where's the oh all right so um, I was thinking I had a pry on the body and dragon guard on the weapons but I have it mixed um, but again, everything is a mix of uh, max magic and, and impenetrable, occasionally reinforced, other things. My jewelry is only blue just because <coughs> improving it is so expensive, and I don't actually care all that much about PvP. I have the multi-effect uh, re recovery because I happen to have a bunch of Indico in my inventory. Those are pretty expensive. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. Just go with, get, go with what you have. So pariah, uh, blue jewelry, and then uh, a lightning staff on the front bar was sharpened because of the penetration and befouled. I guess maybe in case I want to run Plague Break. I don't actually know a lot about Plague Break, so that's, yeah, whatever. Deltio liked it. And then on the back bar, like I said, Deltio recommended a Resto staff, but I'm choosing another Inferno, or another Destro staff. I happen to have an Inferno staff. That's I didn't choose it for any other reason again sharpened. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful uh, and I hope you stay safe in this dystopia that we're living in. Thanks!